Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here, get ready for Gnosis. Well, the last area that I check in my energetic readings is to find an energetic and possible physical reality of viruses, parasites, um, and funguses. Now, we also tend to check, and you have to let us know when you use the service, is that is there some conflict in your body from recent vaccinations? We can check that as well. Um, and it's hard uh, to check that without knowing if you've had that because the viruses in you could be in you already or from a shot. So it's hard to tell when you give people readings. So unless you ask for that and tell me if you've been vaccinated, uh, we don't do that because it causes confusion. Because Sometimes I pick up well, you're, you have vaccination problems, but that's connected to other things. It's very complicated. But this is a very serious area that I've been checking uh, for a few months now consistently. Uh, I have discovered in the last six or eight months now and have been tracking it of the effects of parasites in particular on all of your conditions, particularly people that are having all sorts of mental or psychic conditions. And I found that these are directly linked, and this may be the tool that demons use, that uh, toxic uh, people or society uses to control you. What a better way than to program a parasite to take control of your mind. Now, this is not only a spiritual condition. This has been verified. I believe it's called toxemia, but uh, where actual live parasites of a physical nature go into your brain and control everything you do. I know this is shocking, but this is not a cult. This is not metaphysical. This is not radionics. This is not energetic. These are actual parasites that go in and take over your mind. Now, since this is an established fact, well, where does that end? What aren't they doing? Everybody that does antisocial behavior, because we all understand what is antisocial. People do things, why? And oftentimes it's self-destructive. Why are they doing it? Why are they being pushed over? I mean, uh, none of this makes much sense at all to do so many uh, antisocial activities. Now, there's two reasons why people do things that are not based on the evil criminal society, and that's because they're generally pushed to do it. People don't go out and hurt people, rob or rape them because they grew up in a fine little family and they have not been stressed. Well, that's rare. I guess it happens sometimes. But if you go back into their uh, childhood and their lifestyles, you find that they most likely were abused and tortured for many, many years at extreme levels. I mean, this goes to a lot of your fancy little flops, particularly those from the uh, England and the United Kingdom, who go to these private schools as young children and basically are buggered all their life. That's what you do in a British uh, school. Of course, it was illegal to be homosexual in uh, England, until 1969. They even took a guy that cracked the Nazi code and tortured and murdered him because he was gay. <laughs> I'll tell you an awful lot about the British German society that's there because they are Germans. So the whole idea is that you have to understand that from the reality that is going out there. So what is all this stuff? So there are several ways that affect people. But they have found that these parasites, when they infect particularly fish, and they affect all species, actually committed suicide. They would go up to the top of the water where birds could grab them so that they were eaten. So it goes on and on of these things. So people who have very negative thoughts, who kill their children, who, are, uh, who do perverse things, who are, and I believe it covers everything pedophiles. Most likely they have particular parasites in them that make them do that. And we can track this down to any activity. It's interesting that the parasites of all things that we've all heard of called rabies, that when you're in a high state of rabies infection, that you are hornier than hell and want to screw anything, including this affects females which shows the extremity of this, that actually kicked in libido. Now, it's very interesting that the parasites know exactly where to go, but you're smiling for thought, how does the brain work, Thor? We don't know. I spent eight years in college and millions of dollars in research. 
So I would suggest uh, you scientists go stick your head in a toilet bowl and keep flushing it until you find reality. So the whole idea is that these types of things that happen are directly connected to parasites. Now, where do parasites come from? Quite frankly, I don't understand this because it goes against the basic, what we consider the laws of creation, which is, uh, if you want to call it Darwinian realities, of that the smartest survive. That's really what it's about. It's not the strongest necessarily. You can be the strongest animal out there, but it doesn't mean that you necessarily survive. Most of the big, large dinosaurs were the first ones to go, even though they were the strongest, but they weren't the smartest. So what does that mean? that everything goes on. Why do people act antisocial? I mean, you're not going to find any society that says killing is wonderful, raping is wonderful, stealing is wonderful. Well, they'll do that against other people. But gypsies, uh, Islam in general, well, they don't care what you really do to non-Islamic. But you don't do that to your own people. And that goes to any tribe, basically. So uh, the typical culture of America with their... Uh, talks about not torturing people and fighting the just cause. That's what the military does, right? Well, why do they have people that are trained in torture and abuse and destruction? This is part of the military doctrine, and anybody who's been in the military can tell you that. So let's say I get past that crap. So the whole idea is that this is how it works. So the whole idea is that this is a evilness within people. And I believe that it is not natural because these kind of things are destructive. They're destructive to you personally and they're destructive to your environment and your, quote, tribe. So it's out of balance with, quote, evolutionary factors. So this must come from outside. Well, personally, I believe that these are generated in many ways. And I also believe that there is a percentage, not all of them, came from extraterrestrial origins. Uh, the whole idea is to take care of this mess that uh, extraterrestrials have created. And that the way you do that is implant stuff so people self-destruct. And certainly it's worked very well. Uh, so we have to look at that. And parasites are fascinating. They know where to go, how to control you. They get in your brain and there's very little you can do about it. People don't understand that things like ringworm and things that get in your intestinal tract, you cannot get rid of. I guess in surgery you could. Now, you can kill the eggs they put off, but you can't kill the worm itself unless, I guess, it's cut out. So, again, yeah, you take a lot of poisons and they'll kill the worm, but they'll kill you as well. And that's just one instance. There are all sorts of parasites that are probably undiscovered that we know nothing about or how to treat them, and there's no energy into that. We also have the many, as we're well aware of right now, the uh, huge amounts of viruses that are in everybody. So the cause of everything, all mental stability, instabilities, people who even have abilities, maybe people that have strong abilities, for all we know, some sort of parasite is giving them strong psychic powers or the ability the ability to telepathically send people messages or telekinesisly move items could all be based in some sort of parasite, uh, parasite empowering that area of their consciousness. So we just don't know uh, with any of this stuff, but this is what we should be looking at. It is not a field of hypothetical nonsense. These things are well known of and they are just ignored like the medical industry does with everything that they don't understand. They won't admit it's a problem, they'll just ignore it. They've done this with every single disease that's been out there. They just don't talk about it. If they don't have a cure, they throw you into the ocean and you're on your own. So the other uh, areas, of course, is viruses. All these are kind of linked together. And people don't understand that viruses, again, uh, well, we've heard in the news here of how potent and deadly they are. And they apparently can control you. They take your smell away. They confuse you. Long-term COVID, which means long-term viral activity within you, uh, totally destroys you. People have all sorts of problems, and it connects with every phase of your life. And you think this isn't making people into mental wrecks. You're kidding yourself. For all we know, this will create millions of psychopathic murders to fill the armies of what they want to do, to fill the police departments so they can murder more people, to get easily controlled politicians. These viruses and parasites may be very well-tuned and controlled. 
Now, another thing people tend to overlook is funguses. Now, funguses have been here since the beginning of time. What few people know and understand is that the earth we're living on was created by funguses. They ate the rocks and produced soil. To make it simplistic, so if you're one of them egg-headed, uh, oh, this is a book, though. Um, well, take that book, your professor, your teacher, and that school, and set it on fire. Because that's what it's worth. It's kindling. So the whole idea is that um, this has to be looked at and the potent problem it is. So ever since I've been researching this and checking this, I've found just about everybody that comes to me has a high level of parasites in their body. Now, uh, we're hoping to come out with lots of technologies to kind of help this in an energetic form. But right now, these are physical forms, even if you only have intestinal parasites. Now, there are parasitical cleanses you can get at your local uh, health food store, a facility. And uh, these are generally a couple of herbs that you take, black walnut shells. I'm trying to think what the other one is, but these are, these are common to kill parasites. And everybody should be taking these cleanses in general. Be careful. These are toxic substances to a degree. They're herbal, but you can't gobble these down like it's some sort of water or something. You have to take them carefully, and you should be doing your own personal testings, etc., uh, we'll be putting more information out on this. You also, if you have any kind of physical conditions or anything else, or in general, you should talk to your doctor about this. Is it safe for me to take this? Maybe you have some sort of problem. Always check with your uh, personal doctor. I am not a doctor. I have a doctorate, and I don't do anything based on the physical. I work from the non-physical in, while the doctors work from the physical out. So I'm using informational energetic um, fields to affect what are basically spiritual conditions, which should then help everything. So you need to look into that and always be careful. Remember, there's an old saying, if it can cure, it can hurt. So be careful. And our bodies are all messed up. We're full of chemicals and drugs and vaccinations. Be careful anytime you use anything. Supplements are not neutral. They work. So you have to be careful and you should never gobble anything. Go slow. See how it affects you. Slowly increase. And I always like to stop and start. So I'll take something at relatively high. And this is me personally. I'm not saying you should do any of this stuff. But I'll take things at relative. I'll build up doses to it and do it like that for seven or ten days. Then I stop it for three or four days. Let my body clear. Let my body use everything. Let it get it out. If there's some sort of problems that are being caused, let the body kick it out so you don't run into serious problems. People have seriously hurt themselves with supplements of all types. They are not innate, meaning they just don't do anything. When they don't do anything, they kick it out. Now, that's a fallacy in general. If your body is taking vitamin C and it's had enough of it, then it has to spend energy to get rid of it. It has to kick it out of its liver. That to kick it out of your kidneys. Does that give you energy? No. That means you're getting a negative effect because you're taking too much of something that is supposed to be so good for you. Bad, huh? So we got we got to keep that very much in a higher level of understanding of what they are doing. So uh, this is an art form unto itself to use herbals and other things, something you should be studying and something we're going to come out with a complete course in, which is our herbals and understanding them. But these are very critical factors. These parasites, which are, when you look at them under microscopes, and again, these are physically real, are scary. And they look like creatures. And some of these creature-looking things are exactly where these artists who have made horror films have got their ideas from. I can actually see that. We all know how deadly viruses can be and how they affect you, but it's more than that. They get into your brain, and while they may not be affecting you with killing you, they may make you into psychotic. They may make you into a child molester. They may make you into all sorts of things, as we've seen with the Wendigo factor, where they made people into cannibals. Now, I can guarantee you that all the people affected by the Wendigo energy probably were full of parasites and viruses. They never checked these things. And we can't underestimate the power of fungus. Now, funguses are very good, uh, and they're entities unto themselves. Mushrooms and other things are an entire species of life, and they function, believe it or not, 
Not like plants, but like more like humans. Very interesting. That shows you how weird they are. Now, where did they come from? Are mushrooms and funguses that you eat? Some are tasty. I like some of them. Are they from this planet? We don't know. Most people believe that octopuses, who are so weird, don't come from this reality. They probably fell from out of space into the oceans, etc. So to think that this is something strange is not. To understand the effects of these things could be the key to everything. Uh, if we learn how to use these parasites in a positive way, if there is such a thing, they could go in and trigger your psychic powers. They could make you a super being. Maybe that's what's happened to people like Yuri Geller and others. Maybe those people who've seen all these extraterrestrials that seem to have power now were implanted with a particular parasite. A parasite that's near impossible to kill, but can be uh, directed towards a particular area to empower you, make you crazy or controllable. This would be the smart way. People think they want to beam weapons at you. They want to control you from your cell phone. Well, these are certain primitive ways of thinking. But if they want to track anything or want to control you, well, isn't it better if they programmed a parasite? You could call these nanobots to do their job. Isn't that interesting? So, um, when you're trying to figure out what a particular problem is for a person in any way whatsoever, this is an area that cannot be overlooked. And this is something that I think uh, is so critical that we'll be spending a lot of time with it. And we're hoping to break these down to the energetic informational field of particular parasites, funguses, and viruses, and then try and use reverse energies to stop them from functioning. So this is a big research uh, project that uh, will take years to complete, if ever, unless someone has full time to do it. And of course, that's why we strive to build a full time support so we can do this. So this is not just saving your life and keeping you well. This could potentially be using a certain very effective, very powerful, very intelligent entity to benefit you. It may be the key to everything. So hopefully that gives you another and that finishes up uh, all the areas that we actually check in our free reading and it is 100% free. We need you to contact us through our contact page. Now you go to our website at the upper right of the YouTube page and you'll see you can go to our website. You also can join Patreon there. You go to our website, go to the contact page, and ask for a free reading. Make sure that you enclose a recent photograph, because that's how we have to read you. We have to read you through that photograph um, uh, to uh, check your energies properly. So when you do readings, you must have a photograph. Uh, most, 99% of the time, I mean, I can do it without it, but it makes it harder and the information is less reliable. Uh, getting somebody's cosmic code, all I need is their name and address, basically, but that's different. Giving a full reading uh, it requires a photograph. So enclose that, and we usually get back to people pretty quickly unless we're going through some sort of stressful or difficult stage at that time. So um, that should give you some good information. As I said, it's all free. Avail yourself of it. Know where you're coming from. And uh, this will give you a, a great insight into really what's happening with you. You know, what's happening with you in a traditional psychic reading of what's happening with jobs and other things? Well, these are good for instantaneous mo moment situations. Is this person good for me? Is this job? Those are very helpful. We don't offer those kind. And we don't have anybody to recommend at this time who's a psychic that does that. But that those are helpful there. But the bigger picture is what's important. If you are blocked, it doesn't doesn't matter uh, what problems you have now, they will not resolve well. Unblock yourself, solve all your problems, move ahead, empower yourself up to the next level, to the level above human, the level of true gnosis understanding where you have beaten the game and you have ascended. Until next time.